Hi guys, right, Sunday evening. Um, this is the second part of the haul from the four boot sales I went to on the Sunday. Uh, the first part was all of the media stuff and books and a few bits and bobs, and it just went on too long. So yeah, this is gonna be everything else. There's not masses more to go through, but there is the, the Pokemon plushes that I need your help in identifying if you know anything about Pokemon. I know a little bit, but yeah, not that much. So, perhaps I will start there. Right, so I found a stall where they had all of these laid out and the the little plushes were all 50 pence and these two that are backpacks, they were a pound. Now I know this guy is Pikachu, uh, I think everybody knows that. And uh, this guy I believe is Mew. Um, not sure on this one. Um, so if you know who he is, please drop me a comment. Uh, I've got a little mini one, and like I say, this big one, which was a pound, is a backpack, as is the Pikachu. Uh, there's this funny looking guy, who's got a long dangly tail with a blue ball on the end. And he's got a, a talking, like a battery pack in. Uh, so that's a pretty cool one, and at 50p, absolute bargain. Oops, I'm falling down. Um, so yeah, if anyone can identify him, please leave me a comment. Likewise on this guy. If you know who he is, let me know. And this guy, very strange looking, almost like a flower. So if you know who he is. And uh, this one I think is a Digimon. Um, ah, and that's why I think he's a Digimon because it says Digimon. Um, but yeah, the Digimon stuff has really good value as well, so I'm hoping he's gonna do well. He's like hollow. The lady said he was a pajama case, but there's very little room in there, so I don't know that you'd actually fit pajamas in it. Anyway, so yeah, this Digimon. If you know his name as well, please let me know. That would be really helpful. So that was the Pokemon, so that was a really good find. Um, I've done really well selling Pokemon stuff, uh, and the plushes go fantastically well, so don't pass those up. Um, on the plush theme, I grabbed this guy. This is a Jelly Cat. Uh, that's the brand of soft toy. Um, and there's a market for these, uh, especially new and tagged like that. He's a beanie, so he's got beans in. Uh, really cool monkey. And he was 50p, so yeah, absolute bargain. Right, picked up some Duplo. Now this is a bit of a be on the lookout, a bit of a bolo. Um, it's Duplo that we all know, made of course by Lego. But this is something that I believe they discontinued ages ago. It's like a spin-off called Tulo, T-O-O-L-O. -O -O. And it's a bit like Meccano. It has uh, these tools, these little triangular ended tools. And you, you fix the stuff together with these sort of bolts. And well, as you can see on there, it makes like mechanical equipment and diggers and what have you. And there's really, really good value in it. Um, I paid four pounds for this, um, but I'd probably get 20 plus on what's in there quite easily. I don't know, it's been a while since I found any, um, but yeah, really, really good stuff. So be on the lookout for too low stuff. Uh, it's worth paying up for. And a bag of mixed Duplo. There is a few mega blocks in there that I can see. I paid £2.50 for the bag, um, mainly because I could see these two Disney Cars characters in it. Um, and these are not the mega blocks ones that I've been finding a lot of recently. If you get it to focus, it should say Lego in there. No, you can't really focus. Um, so, yeah, uh, another big bag full. Another car there as well. So that was all good. Um, calculators, the old Casio FX ones. Uh, I've got two of those at 50p. Slightly different one there. Uh, always worth doing. And then I grabbed this Polaroid. Um, I've seen a lot of people picking these up. And I saw this and immediately thought, yeah, that's got to be worth doing. But I had a look at it and it's really old, really vintage. And I didn't know if that was a positive or not with this sort of stuff. So I snuck off and, and searched it. And yeah, there's plenty of money in it, especially boxed like this. I mean, look at that, that's really proper vintage. It's a 
splash unit there. Um, I paid a fiver for it and I'm hoping to get about 30 back on that, looking at current prices. Uh, it's a really nice nick with its original packaging. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, Thomas, this, the Thomas cases do sell really well. This one, not particularly. Um, it just opens up like that and it has these little shelves in. Uh, it's got a few of these little Ertl uh, trains and carriages. I uh, paid a pound on it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Probably 10 or 15 pounds worth there. I grabbed this. It comes in a nice little like cereal container. What these are are brass weights. There's a set of imperial ones. So you've got your pounds and ounces. And a set of the metric in grams. Um, I paid three pounds. You wouldn't budge on it. Uh, but I've done really well on those before, so I'm hoping there's some good money in that. These ones look quite vintage, so yeah, pretty cool. So that's those. A few little games, another past the pigs. Um, this Mensa pack looks unused. I think it's still all sealed up. If it's not sealed, I may well keep that and use it myself. I love Mensa puzzles and all that sort of stuff. Otherwise, if it's is still factory sealed that'll probably go up to amazon a hornby set of playing cards i opened it up and they're brand new inside still sealed um phase 10 made by the makers of uno so i thought i'd grab that these were all 50 pence and then i got a bit of a deal on it all boggle slam the card game and an usborne snap so they were cool right now what um books a couple of books here this one this bim or bim handbook i have no idea really what it's all about i just thought it looked like it might be an expensive book so i scanned it straight into amazon uh using the barcode while i was at the boot sale and yeah it's a sort of 20 30 pound book so i grabbed that one at 50p and i grabbed this one at 50p this is the elder scrolls game of the year edition player's guide don't really know if there's any money in it but i grabbed it anyway um more guitar hero i've got so many guitar heroes now um this is for the wii you can see the slot where the wii controller goes there um inside here is another guitar and software uh i th think I might be wrong but i think there's yeah there's two uh two software packs in there um so two guitars and two uh, lots of the software and I managed to get that for eight pounds So there's plenty of money in that and then board games. Um, let me just move them so they're in the light. Hold on Okay, quickly whiz through these nothing amazing in here a really nice copy of downfall um, Prices on these were either 50 pence or a pound um, Didn't pay any more for any of these. Sorry about that beeping in the background. There's a lorry reversing out the back um, so yeah, downfall, great seller at Christmas. Uh, QI, the board game, not sure what value is in it, but we're coming up to silly season when this sort of stuff will be in demand. So grab that. Pointless, the board game. Again, not sure of the value, but it's in really, really good nick. I had a quick look inside. I don't think it's been used, to be honest. That one, a junior Scrabble, nothing special there, but again, in fantastic nick. Nice vintage 1980s, I think, or 70s, Cluedo, all there, really nice condition, complete. A game of life. This one's a bit of a fiddle to check it's all in there. Um, but at the price this was, I think it was 50p one, um, I went for it. I had a quick look inside. It looked in really, really good clean condition, which is a good indication that it's all going to be there, but you, you can never be sure. So, yeah. Another one of those. Monopoly, the Disney edition. I paid a pound on this one. Again, in fantastic condition. I had a good look inside. Looks to be all there. So I'm hoping that's got some good resell. Another Cluedo. Um, a bit bashed up, this one. Ah, oh, this one I got a deal on. Um, yeah, the this Disney Monopoly 
and this vintage Pluto and the vintage Monopoly were all on the same store and they wanted a pound each. So I said if I bought the Monopoly and the Disney Monopoly, would they chuck that one in, which they did. So essentially this was a freebie um, and I'll probably use it as a donor game. So it's got, way lost one. Uh, yeah, it's got all the tokens and weapons and stuff, which I can use as spares. And the cards, which are really useful to replace missing ones. So, yeah, as a freebie, that will just sit on the shelf and donate its parts. And then, as you saw, nice, classic, vintage, sort of 1970s or 80s Monopoly. Uh, and I had a quick check in there. Didn't count all the cards, but all the pieces looked to be there. So that was all good, and I think that's it. Oh no, I haven't shown you this yet. One last thing is this. And I grabbed this for a pound. I saw that it's got a, a Magic the Gathering deck, um, which I probably would have paid a pound for anyway. It looks to be complete inside. It's still got its rare cards in, so there's that. And then what we've got in here, I don't know what sort of value these have, these are Warhammer combat cards. So you've got Space Marines there, and then all of these, there's tons of them. Um, so yeah, Elves and Orcs and all sorts of stuff. And there's, there's literally loads and loads and loads. There's more Space Marines in there. Um, yeah, so I don't know what value's in this. Uh, it was worth it. The pound uh, was worth it for that anyway. So really early ones, a torment pack. So that's quite nice. Uh, there's Eldars as well there. Look. So yeah, should be some nice uh, resale value on these. I haven't looked into it yet, but that's right up my alley. So I grabbed those. Okay, so that wraps that up. That's what I picked up on Sunday. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that didn't go on too long and there was some useful information in there that can, you can use while you're out hunting for goodies. So thanks for watching, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.